So normally I just look like trash with greasy hair, but today I look like trash with greasy hair in a dress. That is my idea of a clever opening. I, I, I just feel angry right now. I don't know what's up. I'm just angry at everything. I'm angry at life. I didn't want to be human. I wanted to be born a duck. And instead I'm human and I'm not okay with this. And I just I want to be a duck man. Quack, quack. Okay. I don't know how many times in my life I have heard people say, I can't do this. Whether it's be in college or do homework or go to work or live life as an average human being. A lot of people like to use the thing saying, I can't do stuff. Here's the thing. I spent a lot of my life being told, I can't do something. My absolute favorite thing that I've ever heard is that I will never accomplish anything in my life. You know, I really appreciate hearing that fam. I've been told that there's no way I will ever be successful because I was homeschooled, because I'm a woman, because I'm an Aquarius. That last one's not actually true, but I'm sure that somebody somewhere probably thinks that. But there's so much stuff that I've been told that I can't do, and I can. See, I can't succeed in college. Look at the wall. Look at the wall. How about the degree thing? I have this thing that says that I graduated from a place. The thing is, being told that I can't do it really makes me angry. Like, furiously mad. Like, I kind of want to strangle somebody, but I know that I shouldn't, so I don't. But I really, really want to. Instead, what I do is I put this rage into action. Now, I don't mean action as in, you know, going out and murdering somebody as much as I want to sometimes. Saying that probably is getting me put on some sort of watch list, but... Oh well. What I mean by action is doing the very thing that I've been told that I can't do because I can do it, dog damn it. Very recent example. I talked to one of the professor folk at the school. I want to start a creative writing club and I want to start a student blog and I want to do this and I want to do that. Those were kind of the two major things. I'm not even sure if I said anything beyond those things. But examples. But the first thing that this person said to me was that it's never going to work and you shouldn't because it's not worth your energy. It kind of upset me and I still really wanted to do it and I'm kind of thinking, you know, I really want to make this thing a thing that happens. The next school year, we get started, nobody shows up to the meetings, it's super fun. So we kind of had a slow start, but by the end of the school year, we had quite a turnout. We end up starting up an open mic night, we end up taking over the school's yearly publication, by the end of the school year, a lot of people had at least taken notice of us. Because you don't tell me what I can't do. Because when you tell me what I can't do, I will make it work, yo. By telling me I can't do something, you are challenging me. I take that dare. I double dog take that dare, fam. Is double dog daring even a thing still? Because I feel like it's not. I feel like it should be, but it probably also shouldn't be because the internet makes people more stupid than they were when I was, like, a child. I'm about to get all motivational speaker on you right here, okay? You ready? You ready for this? The only thing that's stopping you from doing something is yourself. See, you're probably sitting here watching this video thinking, I'm never going to make that paper deadline. My answer to that is get the hell off of YouTube and work on your homework, kid, because you know, YouTube's not gonna help you. Now obviously there are some extreme cases where you genuinely can't and I'm not so much addressing those as I am addressing the everyday strain of life where you're saying I can't do something like I can't go to college because I have kids. But you know what? There's a lot of people who have gone to college and they have kids and they have kids before they go to college and they have kids during college or they have kids, you know, at graduation, they just pop them out right there. really don't know where I was going with that, but okay. So yeah, that was my motivational speech for the day. Okay, I'm hip with the kids, fam, squad, folk. Teddy's an angry dog. This is my dog, Kirby. He's getting pretty big. Okay, so that's about all I have right now. My hair is all over my face and there's a dog that's attacking my neck. Okay. Bye, Kirby. Oh, bye, Kirby.